So this question looks like it's going to be a simplify question. I say that because it's, <clears throat> because it's very short, right? Simplified questions are typically one to three lines long. And I also say that because I see these equations here or this equation here and this function here. So what do we know? We know that f of x is equal to negative 2x plus 5. We're asked to find f of negative 3x. I'm going to actually show you how to solve this in two ways. So here's the simplify way. So with simplification or with functions, whatever you replace um, this x with also replaces this x. So what this is saying is that we replaced the top x with a negative 3x, which means once we get on this side of the equal sign, we must also replace that x with a negative 3x. That's it. It's just a replacement or substitution. So now when I simplify this, negative 2 times negative 3x is um, positive. I didn't need to write that. I was thinking it, but didn't need to write the positive sign. Negative 2x times negative 3x is 6x, and then I have plus 5, and that is my answer, right? f of negative 3x equals that. So that means my answer is choice B. Now, the other way to do this, um, just because it's a good habit whenever you see variables in the answer choice, to think of the possibility of using plug in your own number, right? So in this case, with this strategy, I could say that x equals 2. So if x equals 2, that means f of negative 3x is really f of negative 6, right? Because negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. I then go to my f of x equation, negative 2x plus 5, and I say, okay, well, f of negative 6 is equal to negative 2 times negative 6 plus 5. So it's equal to 12 plus 5, which is equal to 17. I then take that answer, that 17, and say, okay, which one of my answer choices, when I plug in that same x equals 2, will give me a positive 17? So when I try choice A, I get negative 6 times 2 minus 5, and that would give me negative 17, so that's not equal to positive 17. And then B, 6 times 2 plus 5 does give me positive 17, and that's how I know that it is the correct answer. So my preference is simplification here just because it's short. It's a short question. I think that's the first thing that you should be thinking about. But, you know, uh, not everyone, you know, just in case you don't think to do it that way, just know that you can you also use this plug in your own number strategy. Not the best strategy for this particular question, but knowing how to do this will be very valuable to you for future questions.